Hello guys, in this video I want to tell you about one change, one improvement we made in our Quick Admin Panel module multi-tenancy, specifically with Teams and Invitations. I will show you how it worked before and how it works now, and also I will show you the code so you will be able to implement that logic in your projects without Quick Admin Panel, so it's useful as Laravel lesson as well. So it's not just advertising of our Quick Admin Panel. The module itself is for restricting the records for user. So I should see only the records that I've created and other users won't see those records. And we have two levels of that module. If you try to install that, there's user multi-tenancy, the one that I mentioned before, and also there's a team multi-tenancy. So the logic that the records would be seen by all users belonging to that particular team. So if you choose that, there will be a separate model team and users team ID as a relationship. Now let's talk about what we actually improved now. So the way how team management worked previously is everything was controlled by system administrator, by not a team member, but overall global administrator of the project. So they created a team, then they assigned the users to the team, so adding a user could contain a team, but everything was handled by administrator. What we changed is three things. First, with team multi-tenancy module, registration module is automatically installed. So new users can register with their team. Second, on every new user registration, a team is created automatically for that user. So if we fill in some fake filler data and register, you are registered as a team owner and there is a new record in the teams table. And third thing we introduced is invitations. So every team owner can invite people by email. And I will demonstrate you that. So let's invite another user, invite, and the email gets sent to the person's email. So invite send. I'm using MailTrap for that. And that person gets this email. We invite you to join the team. You can customize that email in your code and that person gets a unique link to registration form but with team ID already set. So now if I register as that invited person, again with fake filler, I register. I don't see the team members menu item because I'm not a team owner. But in the database, you see new team by that owner with owner ID 2 and that user, user 3, belonging to team ID 2 but not as owner. Still, team multi-tenancy logic works, so all the records of any team member are seen by all the team members. How does it work in the code? When generating the CRUD, there is an option Use Multi-Tenancy, if you have that module installed. So when generating, for example, Tasks CRUD, you can enable multi-tenancy, and then after download, you will get this code. Let's take a look at view code. The whole logic is in one file, believe it or not. App traits, multi-tenant model trait. And there are two things here. When creating the model, the team ID is set automatically to the user's team. And when getting all the objects, it adds global scope to eloquent queries, filtering team ID by user's team. Now let's take a look how invitation works. So in register controller, we override a few methods from the traits. So when creating the user, we create the user and the team. And if there's no team, we create one with user ID as owner. And also registration form checks the signature from the invitations. And let's take a look at auth register blade. Auth register blade, in that form, there is a hidden parameter team. Finally, how that invitation gets called, it's in controllers admin team members, invitation, we're using signed route, Laravel feature, and we're just sending notification of team member invite. Pretty simple, so you can implement that in your projects, or you can use our quick admin panel to get that invitation structure with teams and members. See you guys in other videos.